G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here. Big day today, and it's freezing. It's 6.30 in the morning, and in the middle of winter. This is nuts. Well, maybe I'm just getting soft. Either or. I've got a bobcat here today. Isn't she a beauty? To help with the removal of these old existing concrete slabs. And to give the overall site a bit of a tidy up. Because at the moment, it's looking a little bit trashed. These machines are pretty noisy. And it's only 6.30 in the morning. So I don't think the neighbors going to be too thrilled and I don't think their chooks are going to be laying any eggs for the next couple of days either. It's absolutely amazing, but this old air conditioner actually still works. Incredible. Sorry, old girl, but it's time to go to the tip. Oh, it's heavy too. With the site now clean, it just looks and feels so much better. Now, let's have a crack at removing those old slabs. How's this for bad timing? We've just filled the back of the truck up, chock-a-block full of concrete. We looked down and noticed that we have a flat tire. Absolutely spewing. You wouldn't read about it. Oh well, whinging won't fix it. Let's do it. La -da -da, da -da -da. La -da -da -da, da -da -da. And as you can see now, things are starting to take shape. And there's that pile of concrete. Looks like we've been through an earthquake. I'm always amazed at how powerful a bobcat and a mini excavator are. These are big slabs of concrete, and these are big old footings. And they do it with ease. It's pretty incredible. And to think I was considering using a sledgehammer, a demo saw, and a crowbar. What was I thinking? Obviously I wasn't. Here comes Frank, I better move. And here it is, all done. Not a skerrick of concrete is left and it all went really well, except for one spot that was a little bit unexpected. There's always one thing, always, trust me. We discovered that the driveway had three slabs poured on top of one another. Who does that? Three slabs. Someone who likes laying slabs, I suppose. Slab person. All in all, I was really happy with how the whole process went. And if you're in the Coffs Harbour area 
and you need some earth moving works done, call Franco Dwyer. He's a champion bloke and a great operator. There's Frank. Give him a call. He'll look after you. So there you have it. The slabs are now gone and the site is now clear. So we can tick that job off. And an added bonus was that we didn't need to call that number there, which is always a possibility whenever you're demolishing things. Alrighty, episode nine or 10, I can't remember, coming up is going to be about pouring the slab. So I hope you can stick around for that one. All right, as per usual, big thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It's 12 o'clock, must be time for a cup of tea. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.